So besides vectors, another nice thing we get from the standard template library is a set of algorithms that we can use to operate on on vectors and, and sequences in general. Um, so this um, program is called High Scores. This is from the um, This is from the um, beginning C++ through game programming book by Michael Dawson. And um, let's see. So the way this one works is um, we have to include uh, this header uh, algorithm up top so that we can use the algorithms. and. Um, one one device that um, programmers use a lot that's used a lot in this book is um, using namespace std. So that way we don't have to uh, when when we get to a um, algorithm we don't have to like find for example we don't have to type std dot you know colon colon we can just put the al um, algorithm right there. So um, what this um, program does is um, manipulates a, a list of scores. Okay, so we start off with um, an iterator, and notice this is a const iterator. So what that means is, um, well, we can, what that means is that the um, items pointed to by the iterator cannot be changed. They're treated as consts. The, um, this uh, variable iter itself can be reassigned um, as much as you want. So here we say, you know, iter equals scores begin. There's going to be, uh, you know, other here, iter equals find, which we'll talk about in a second. Um, you know, iter equals scores begin again. So you can, you can uh, reassign uh, values to iter as long as they're, you know, valid iterators and of, of the you know the right type and everything. Um, but the objects pointed to by the iterator um, can't be changed. So um, the first thing we're going to do is create a list of scores. We have this uh, vector of ints called scores, and we're just going to we're just I'm uh, going to push back three different scores here. So we're pushing uh, 1,500, 3,500, and 7,500. So after um, these three statements, our uh, scores vector now has three elements, 1,500, 3,500, and 7,500. Okay. Um, the next thing we do is just uh, list out the high scores. And notice, um, as I said, you know, we can we can assign a value to iter, we assign that scores begin, and this um, iter not equal to scores end, uh, if you remember the, um, uh, the what the end function does is it returns a, a pointer just one past the last um, element in the list. So um, that's just telling us that we're done. We've we've viewed the whole list. So as long as we're not equal to end, we're going to just keep iterating through, and we're going to um, print out um, what we've got, what we found. And um, remember, the asterisk iter um, returns the the actual element in the list that gets pointed to by the iterator. So this will go through the values: fifteen hundred, thirty-five hundred, and seventy-five hundred. Um, now and then, then we get start getting into using um, algorithms. So here we're going to um, find a score. It says finding a score. Um, we get a score from the user. So we ask the user to input um, a score, and if it matches one of these three, then we'll find it. So what find does is it's it says okay. Starting at this point in the sequence, 
or so in our case at this point at the beginning of the vector and ending at this point so this uh, so this second pointer actually points one past you know where your your last element you want to look at um, is so starting here and ending here we're going to look through this um, vector or we're going to I'm sorry we're going to we're going to uh, try to find um, yeah we're going to try to find this value we're going to try to find this value in the um, in the vector and if we find it if if we find this value score then we're going to assign to iterator a pointer to that value the fir the first occurrence of that value in the vector so if we typed in a 3500 um, you know we're going to have an have our, our iterator is going to point to that the 3500 in that list so that's that's what this you know we're, we return that the iterator that points there so here we're reassigning iterator to be that. Now, if we didn't find the uh, if we didn't find score in the list or in the um, sequence, then um, we'll end up with a the iterator is going to end up pointing to the uh, to this uh, this guy. So to the um, you know past the end of the the sequence that we gave it. Okay, um, so that's how find works. Then um, there's another one, random shuffle, which is kind of nice if you want to, like, uh, shuffle a deck of cards or, you know, depending on what game you're playing, that can come in handy. Um, notice, just like with, uh, you know, the other uh, random uh, functions we, we saw earlier, um, you have to seed... Um, you know, with a uh, you know the random um, function with uh, uh, like like what we did before was we just pulled the time and and you know seeded the the, the random number generator that way. So then um, then we can call random shuffle with the beginning and the ending of the sequence again. So here since we're we're using dot begin and dot end, we're get we're, we're Pulling the whole vector, right? The entire scores vector is, is going to get shuffled, and then we just print these out uh, to show that um, they're shuffled. Um, again, this you know the the star iterator gives us the actual thing pointed to by the iterator, so the actual you know 3500 or whatever. The iterator itself starts at scores.begin and gets incremented until at, uh, or as long as it's not equal to the end. Okay. Um, ba, 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 ba. One last one here is sort. Oh yeah, here's another nice one. So now we can put the scores in, in order. Um, and then we loop through them again and just print them all out. So let's uh, let's see what that looks like. Yes. And great. So we created the list of scores. That was when we you know we did all those push those three pushbacks to load those things up. Then we said high scores. Now we're saying now we're doing the finding a score and it says enter to enter a score to find. So I'll enter 1500. Let's see if it finds it. Okay, yeah, it says it found it. And then randomize the scores. So we should be sh um, shuffling them in some random order. It it could happen, right? That it's it, uh, even though it's random, that it, it gets put exactly in the same in sorted order. So let's let's try again just to make sure that wasn't a an error. That that was a coincidence. So let's up uh, this time I'll enter a score that's not in there. So I'll enter nine thousand. So it says score not found. And now this time I randomize it. Look at that. It's still coming out fifteen hundred, thirty five hundred, seventy five hundred. 
so let's see what we say random shuffle one more try uh, there we go now we got when, when you only have three elements in a list um, you know, randomness doesn't necessarily uh, work as well, right? Because it's 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 you have a, a better chance of things being in a sorted order uh, if there's fewer of them. But anyway, so yeah, so it worked, and that's uh, that's how high scores works.